Dog Zone Medicine here, or um, my YouTube channel name, Medic Maniac. And you're watching a little collection of videos I put together in Drive Club. And these videos are from my replay collection. And they're all the ones, they challenges that I've done uh, some time back. You'll get the in-car view if it's a uh, car. Uh, and the external view as I normally show them and for the uh, centre video because there are three, three videos that you'll be watching um, with the bike and you'll get the way that I drove drove the bike at the time in the game and what this is is just basically um, a plea in asking for help I like arcade style racing games with cars, going back to Project Gotham Racing and to Rally Sport Challenge as well. Uh, Rally Sport Challenge 2 was a particular favourite of mine on the old Xbox. But PGR really is a love of mine, or it, as it was originally known, Metropolis Street Racer. Uh, which I did buy, and I did buy a Dreamcast just so that I could play that. Um, as you might be aware if you are a PGR fan, um, it's around 10 years since Project Gotham Racing 4 was actually released on the Xbox 360. After that, obviously it's well documented, uh, Microsoft and Bizarre split, is our joined Activision and did two games, a uh, James Bond game and Blur, and I have both of those. And then they folded because the sales weren't enough. And Microsoft never bothered doing another PGR. In fact, to this day, with the Xbox One being out and Scorpio up and coming. There is no words that PGR 3 or 4, which were titled on the Xbox 360, will in any way be compatible. PGR has a very strong following. It is huge. It is really huge. It's a really much loved franchise and even had a mobile phone iteration, which I have never played, I've never seen, and I'm not interested in mobile phone gaming at all. Um, as I've stated, I've got all of the PGR games, and in fact I've been playing PGR 3 and 4 lately, more, more so 3, as I sort of didn't really have connectivity to the internet at, at the time of 3, so I've actually been putting down leaderboard times, which look quite funny with a, a 16, you know, a year 16 on it, as opposed to years 5, 6 and 7, uh, which most of the other times have got. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been playing that and um, it's really reminded me how much I love PGR over the years. I went on to play Forza Motorsport and I always wanted to get my cars to handle in that kind of classic arcade style way, that one that I felt so comfortable driving. Um, if you do know me from Forza Motorsport then you, you you know, not very likely that you're going to know me. Um, I wasn't really that popular as a tumor or a painter. Um, but my cars were no aero and they always had grip. And um, some of the comments that I used to get was that they were exceptionally nice to drive, and that, that's why, because I, I always try to replicate the style of, of PGR. So I really love that game. I'm really sad that it's been left in this state where it looks like Microsoft just don't care. Um, it looks like that. So I'm asking for help. What have I been doing? Okay, for well, that sort of, um, you know, five days or so I've been tweeting every day. I've been tweeting Phil Spencer and Major Nelson, who are probably going to block me, <laughs> actually. Um, I've written letters to uh, a game site, I've put a little piece on my YouTube channel, I've tried to contact the guys at PGR Forever, 
um, the website. Uh, I've messaged Phil Spencer, I've messaged Major Nelson, and what I'm asking is, does Microsoft have any plans for PGI? Does it? As I've stated, it's 10 years since, around 10 years since Project Documentation 4 was on shop shelves. I still have my receipt in my box, I might add. Um, so I can have a look at the date and everything. It's a bit worn now, the receipt, a bit, you know, faded. But I can see the year, and it is about 10 years since PGR 4 was released. Now, PGR and Drive Club have similarities in that there is no tuning. There are replications of real real world cars and bikes and that's why I put the included this bike video here that you're watching. Uh, funny enough, after the weather update my number one times on Drive Club got wiped and I kind of lost a bit of heart because I'd worked really hard getting some number one times on a couple of tracks in India and, and such things. And, um, and the first number one I ever had after I could be bothered to do it again. Um, was was here on this circuit with this bike and I ran this challenge before I actually ran the time trial. I'm not number one on this circuit now with this bike. Uh, I think that belongs to somebody else and, and I couldn't quite catch that time. I think I was about third or something. I think they drove a near perfect lap which I just couldn't do. But, um, but yeah, so you know, PGR4 had bikes in it, bikes and cars. And I've put that little link to the trailer so you can actually visit the website of, you know, whoever put that trailer on. Um, and I've put that link on my YouTube channel with a little description. I'll try and put some links in with this video uh, once it's on YouTube. You know, the Bizarre Creations, Farewell, the links to, you know, some of the uh, trailers for probably MSR, PGR, or that type of thing. But the similarities with Drive Club and PGR were the, were the weather and the arcade style racing. I think I've mentioned in another video, a farewell video that I did uh, for Evolution Studios when, when I heard Evolution Studios shut down. Um, I think I mentioned that PGR 4 did ice and fog as well as snow and you could have like variations of snow so you could have like a full on blizzard at Nürburgring for example, um, which is just phenomenal. If you haven't got an Xbox 360 and you haven't tried PGR4, pick up a second-hand Xbox 360 if your finances allow it. Search out a copy of PGR4. It will be quite cheap now, and, and play it. You know, see see what you think. Um, but I think it's important to mention Drive Club as well because obviously Evolution Studios went to Codemasters and Sony doesn't really seem that interested in Drive Club. It certainly isn't interested with the communities, um, I, I've noticed. <laughs> and it has interest in promoting VR, which Evolution Studios worked on before they left, and, and the upcoming new tracks before they left, which are, will be accompanying, uh, accompanying VR. Other than that, there are no plans for another Drive Club. And that means that both games with arcade style handling that I absolutely adore, with weather and everything, and, you know, which are PGR and Drive Club, have no new titles in the pipeline. There is nothing. Now, at the moment I'm focusing on PGR because, as I've been saying, it's 10 years since PGR 4. 10 whole years. If you do go out and have a look at second hand Xbox 3, uh, 360, if you do have one, if you've never played PGR, play it, you know, and you'll understand exactly why I'm talking about this, exactly why I think there is a gap in the market. Yes, there's Gran Turismo coming up. Yes, uh, Microsoft is very interested in Forza, Forza Horizon. I didn't like Forza Horizon. I just didn't like it. I'm going to close my eyes and count to ten. After my fingers came out of my throat, do you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just, I, I just don't like that.
Uh, it, it doesn't hold a candle to PGR. PGR is beautiful and structured. It's beautifully balanced with the pad in your hand. You will understand what I'm saying. The kudos system is fantastic. Obviously, I don't need to speak at that job. You know, if you're watching this, if you have a PlayStation 4, Drive Club is quite cheap now. You know, you will understand just how gorgeous it is, how well it plays. Uh, you'll understand why I mentioned in Drive Club and PGR 4 in the same kind of video. Because they're pretty similar in some respects. They're different bass, they're different, you know, machines that they're on. They're different in the way that they're structured gameplay-wise. But they're both arcade, that arcade style that there is a niche for, a gap in the market for. Yes, Evolution are working on a new IP. But if you can help me, if you can help get the word out about PGR, drum up support, you know, tweet the Microsoft execs, please. Because we need an answer what Microsoft are doing. And if they're not going to do anything, I'm urging Microsoft to sell PGR to a British developer, as it once was, so that us PGR fans can enjoy PGR once again. It's a great series. It's got a great history. It's got an important place among British developers and among racing games in general throughout the world. So please help if you can. Please help save PGR. We'll get to Drive Club a bit later, I should imagine. But for now, I'm coming to the end of this video, so take care.